Hello my beautiful beauties and my wonderful lovelies a pleasant afternoon to everyone. You know the saying that never judge a book by the cover it is so real and the more I live and the longer I live it becomes even more real to me it is something almost tangible in some sense that is how real the reality is and you know in recent times I went somewhere I remember I went to kind of get my shoes fixed I bought a new shoes but you know our Jamaican roads are so smooth I don't want to seem vitriolic to my Jamaican roads but it's because I really wanted to be, them to be fixed and uh, you know in, a, in in maybe like less than a day because I mean I like my heels it the the the, the, the um, tipping area needed to be fixed so I went to you know a, a store to get it um, repaired you know and I noticed when I went in there was an, a white person an elderly lady a white um um, individual uh, I didn't know if it was Jamaican or not but when I heard her speaking I realized she's from somewhere in England and um, elderly lady and when I looked on the counter the shoes that I saw I wondered if it was Adam and Eve or Eve when she was changing out her shoes she loaned them to her she gave them to her that is how old the shoes were and I'm not saying it to be disrespectful, to be honest with you. I would, for me, those shoes belong in the dumpster. You know, they were old and worn and tattered and wrong. You know, like when you you have a, a towel and you wring, oh God, you wring it dry. And it was quite a number of them. They were very old. I noticed one, two of them seemed to be brand, you know. You know, I saw Clark's because, you know, that's, that's where they manufacturing company is you know in England somewhere because I remember going to the the, the manufacturing uh, store once and bought a boots there and in my mind you now many people could think oh she's probably stingy or it's it has sentimental value could be but you know I really don't get that feeling like to be honest I think things are tough and maybe she just does not have the money to buy another pair of shoes. Now, I wanted to get a million and one messages from this because sometimes we think that only among the black community or in the black community, poverty lies. Not necessarily. From the days of the Quakers and before you had poor whites, you know, and um, maybe things are difficult. As I said, it's an elderly woman. We don't know what her situation is. Um, I saw her with a wedding ring. Maybe she's a, she couldn't be a, um, a widow. Um, her husband could be alive, but things are tough for them financially. Never judge a book by the cover. She looks good on the outside, but you don't know what her finances are like. Follow me on TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this. Have a wonderful day.